In this lesson, you will learn how to add and subtract rational numbers using a number line. To add means to put together. So let's say if you wanted to add the number 2 plus 6, and you want to do this on the number line, you would find the number 2, count up by 6, and the number you reach is the sum. So the sum is 8. Now when you're adding, you go to the right of the number line because numbers to the right of zero get larger, numbers to the left of zero are negative and get increasingly negative as you continue on further left. Now let's add a positive and a negative number. Let's say you want to add, I don't know, 16 and negative 4. So to add 16 plus negative 4, you would start at the number 16 and you would go to the left 4. Negative 4 is the same thing as subtracting 4, so you'd move to the left. And the number you land on here is 12. Now let's talk about how to use a number line to subtract. Subtraction means to take away. And if you want to subtract on the number line, you start at the first number and move left the number that you're subtracting. So let's just say we want to subtract 12 minus 8. You would start at the number 12 and then jump to the left eight places. The number that you land on is the difference. So 12 minus eight equals four. Now let's try and subtract a negative number. So what if I take away the eight here and let's erase these marks on the number line as well. And what if I wanna subtract 12 minus negative five? So how would I do that? Well, I'm still gonna start at 12, I know that much. The next step is minus means I would move to the left but then I have negative 5, and I remember that when I added a negative number, I moved to the left instead of moving to the right. So the negative sign kind of tells you to go in the opposite direction. So if I go left for subtraction, but then the negative sign tells me to go the opposite direction, I'm actually going to end up going right. So I end up adding, essentially, start at 12 and go to the right five places in this case, and the number you land on here is positive 17. And that's because when you subtract a negative number, it's equivalent to adding that number. And that's because the negative, the subtraction sign tells you to go to the left on the number line, but then the negative sign tells you to go in the opposite direction from which you were going to go. So you would have to end up going right, and therefore you add. Now let's reverse the order of these numbers. What if I take negative 5 and I make that the number I want to subtract from? So now negative 5 comes first, and I'm going to subtract away 12. So here, I would start at negative 5, which is right here, and I would count back, right? Subtraction means go to the left, and there's no other thing telling me to do anything different. So go to the left 12 places and see where I land. I land on the number negative 17. So negative 5 minus 12 makes the difference increasingly negative. So you get negative 17 here. Now I notice something interesting. In both cases, I'm working with two numbers. I'm working with 12, positive 12, and negative 5. And what happens here? When I said 12 minus negative 5, I got a difference of 17. And when I did negative 5 minus 12, again, the same two numbers and subtracting, I got a difference of negative 17. And if you notice, if you take the absolute value of negative 17, you get positive 17, which is the answer that you get over here. And the reason that this happens is because absolute value represents the distance between any two numbers on the number line. And let me show you what I mean. So if we're talking about the numbers negative 5, which is right here, and positive 12, the distance between these two numbers on a number line is 17. And if you count this, I assure you, you will find that there are 17 places in between negative 5 and 12. So the absolute value represents the distance between any two numbers on a number line. Now let's try another problem together. I'll erase this work and we will start with a fresh number line. What if I want to add the number 8 plus negative 8? Now you know that you're going to start at the number 8 on the number line. And normally when you add, you would go to the right. However, you see the negative sign here, which means you need to go in the opposite direction, or you need to subtract, actually. So 8 plus negative 8 is the same thing as 8 minus 8. So if we jump back by 8 here, and I'll just count for you, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I jump back by 8, 
the number I land on is 0. So 8 plus negative 8 equals 0. What you learn from this is that 8 and negative 8 are opposite numbers. And opposite numbers have the same value, so they're both 8, but they have opposite signs. This one's positive, this one's negative. When you find the sum of opposite numbers, you always get 0. So you can you could do this with any number. If you had negative 4 plus 4, right? Same value, opposite sign, the sum would be 0. If you had the negative number second, let's just say you did 6 plus negative 6. Again, same value, opposite sign, you will get a sum of 0. Now let's try a word problem together. Meg has $5. She owes her friend $2. How much will Meg have left after she pays her friend back? In this situation, we need to figure out the integers that represent both dollar amounts. So if Meg has $5, that would be represented by a positive integer, so positive 5. If she owes her friend some money and she needs to pay her friend back, that means you have to use a negative sign for this $2, right? Because owing means it's going to go away, so you're going to take it away eventually. Now let's find how much she will have after she pays the money back. And to do that, you would have 5 plus negative 2. So start at the number 5 on the number line right here. That's 5. And you're going to jump back by 2. And I'm going to do that with two hops of 1. So here's one hop of 1. Here's another hop of 1. So I jump back twice. And this represents minus 2 or plus negative 2. And the number you land on is positive 3. So that means that after she pays her friend back, Meg will still have $3. Thanks for watching.